Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to make a spear guns trigger mechanism prototype. I went to a local window maker, I got a small piece of aluminum. That's the material that I'll be using on the prototype. But before I got into that, I want to show you a small improvement that I've done to my drill press machine. If you have one of these small drill press machines, you probably notice that the quill will always have some play. So I come up with a solution to solve that problem. First, I remove the quill out, easy to do. Then I drill and tap four screw holes. You can see three here and one more on the other side. From a longer screw, I cut four small pieces. One side with a hacksaw, I made a small cut that will be for the screwdriver. And the other side, I polish it as much as possible. Needs to be polished because the screws will be touching this surface. And by polishing it, it will prevent the screws from scratching the quill once it moves up and down. With the screws in place, using a screwdriver, I adjusted until I felt no more play. And finally, I lock everything in place by tightening these nuts. And now I got a much better machine. Now the trigger mechanism prototype. I have my aluminum. First step will be cutting a 65 millimeter long part out of this one and start from there. This will be the housing. The trigger and the sear will be mounted right here. Next step will be to smooth all the edges and get this to the final size. So what we have here, I have the sear, it's a cutout, it's not glued yet. The trigger, this will be the housing that holds everything together. And this cutout will be used to transfer all the holes, which will be the next step. Now with the center punch, I'm going to transfer all of these holes into the aluminum piece. I'm going to start drilling all the holes. This will be the sear hole. It's a 5 millimeter diameter. And this one for the trigger will be a four millimeter. Before I finish drilling these holes on the trigger mechanism housing, I want to explain something. This hole here will be 5 mm through. This one will be 5 mm topped hole. For the trigger will be a 4 mm topped hole. And for the sear will be a 5 mm topped hole. Now I'm going to drill the hole that holds the trigger. Before I tap these holes, and because I don't have the right size tap, I will have to make a self-tapping screw. It's very easy to do. I'll show you in a minute. I have a 5 millimeter screw on my vise, and with a small file, I'm going to make two small cuts that will give a cutting edge. And it's done. Now I'm going to use the 5 millimeter screw. And same thing for the 4 millimeter. Next, with a hacksaw, I'm going to cut out the trigger and the sear. And to finish, I'm going to use a very small file to get the final shape.
I have the CA roughed out. Next I'm gonna do the trigger. There's the trigger. Needs a little bit of finishing, but it's getting there. I'm going to start working on this area from the trigger. That's where the sear will engage. So I'm going to take my time and try to follow the line as close as possible. I finish filing the trigger and next I'm going to do the sear. I'm done filing both the trigger and the sear. Next step will be to drill a small hole right there where the spring will be in place. There's all the parts ready for assembly. There's the housing, the spring, the sear and the trigger. It took some time, but I think it turned out pretty good. Check this out. I think I got a winner right here. I better start thinking how am I going to build the real one. But for now, I gotta say thank you for watching my videos and I see you next time on Mr. My Videos For You.